On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new LMG, the Castoff LSW. Let's go test it out. So not only did we get a brand new LMG and a new marksman rifle here in season six, but this actually came with a final base camo that's actually animated. And that camo is right here, the pixel perfect camo. You need to get 250 kills while having napalm burst on your weapon or just fire damage. So I think incendiary would work if it had the incendiary bullet option, but unfortunately it doesn't. But either way, we'll be testing this out in all three tiers, unpack a punched and pack a punched and bring it into the dark aether for free. Because if you didn't know here in the new season, season instead of heading in any content they added in some quality of life changes which one of them is that you can go into the dark aether for free you don't need a sigil uh, but that only works for the normal dark aether you're still going to need an elder sigil if you want to go into the elder dark aether and in addition to that schematic cooldown times have been reduced in half they've been cut entirely in half so you'll be able to get all your schematics back two times faster and right now in tier one weapons holding up it's doing pretty decent wait so i completely forgot about this underbarrel attachment until after i recorded the segment of me going and testing out the weapon's damage but this underbarrel does not affect the damage of the weapon at all it just really improves a lot of the movement speed options like almost every movement speed option if you look at the details in the gunsmith menu and this underbarrel is called the brace fire hc and if you don't see this attachment when you're scrolling through all of your underbarrels it's because you have to go into the armory and set it to be unlocked. And all you gotta do is knock out a few challenges and you should get it, but this thing is kinda nasty. And if you don't really care about us going through and testing all the damage with the weapon and doing all of our testing with the previous underbarrel, uh, feel free to skip forward down with the timestamps below. It should be there on the time bar. And if not, back to whatever I was talking about. And in tier two, here's an armored zombie. Broke the armor pretty fast and actually took him out. Not bad, this thing can actually hold up in tier 2 without pack-a-punch or upgrades. That hellhound really just threw me off there. Why was he running in the air? And now let's see how this is doing in tier 3. Here's a fully armored zombie. Can we at least break his helmet? Not looking like it, at least not yet. Oh wait, yeah we did. And we're not doing terrible damage against it for not having pack-a-punch and not having any upgrades. But now we got to reload and we got to get the hell out of here. These zombies are going to mess me up. But so far, damage ain't terrible, but not insane either. But before we go ahead and get this thing pack-a-punched, while I was leveling this up on stream, also shout out to those of you that come by the stream, uh, I noticed a little discrepancy in the ammo. So I have the 150 round mag on right here. And we have 525 bolts in reserve zombies, please. I'm trying to talk to the people. I'm getting the hell out of here. These guys are rude. Let me get one of these before things get hairy. And back to what I was saying, uh, I noticed that after pack-a-punching, the ammo was kind of different between when I had MAGA holding and when I didn't. So let's go ahead and pack-a-punch it. We get 300 rounds in the mag and 700 reserves. So that's a thousand total with our 150 round mag. And real quick, let's just test out the reload here. Looking very slow without speed cola. So let's go ahead and activate speed cola and give it another try. So we'll kill that zombie, give another reload a bit better. Definitely way faster than some other LMGs, but still not optimal. And since we're in the area, let's go ahead and grab this bounty. But I'm going to go ahead and get to an armor station or an ammo station. And we're going to see if I'm just delusional or if this is real. So right now, a thousand total bullets. We're going to use our MAGA holding. Okay, and it stayed at a thousand. I don't know what I was thinking. I could have sworn earlier on stream that it was capping out at 800 bullets, even with the 150 round max. So you know what? I'm glad to be wrong because a little extra bullets can go a long way. I think the game just did that so I can look like a maniac. But let's go ahead and use our dead shot as well. And let's go ahead and try it out against this disciple. You don't even know we're here yet. See you later, buddy. Absolutely dismantling him. Tier two HVTs. They don't stand a chance. And let's go ahead and knock out one more bounty here so we can afford all of our perks before we go into tier three. And it's a mangler. Where are you hiding at, pal? Oh, there you are. You're unfortunately going to get the same fate as our disciple, pal. Getting messed up immediately. Oh, you're going to give me some PhD. Appreciate it. All right, tier three. We're back for revenge. How's this doing against you zombies now? Fully armored zombie going down pretty quick. So far, this don't look bad at all. The, the rate of fire on this LMG is actually really nice. And I think it has a lot faster of a movement speed than a lot of other LMGs. So if you're a big fan of using LMGs, you like having that large mag size, but you want a little more mobility, this might be your weapon. Because so far, 
We're looking pretty decent. And I'm sure we'll go even faster once we actually pick up stamina. So let's go ahead and grab that and everything else and see if we can't find some bounties here in tier three. And I don't see any available right now. So maybe we actually go see what the Stormcaller is up to if he's still alive. All right, Stormcaller, a new weapon's out. So you know what that means. Time for you to get shredded by it, hopefully. Let's stop him from healing. Let's also throw a decoy. That'd be nice. Can we get that mask of yours broken? Yup, there we go. And the damage is actually looking pretty decent. He's going down pretty fast. The fire rate on this is actually so good. For an LMG, this is extremely fast. And it's absolutely tearing through all of his zombies. Get out of here. Scram. Skedaddle. Oh, yeah, and spawn in some more. I right, just took out your whole army in seconds. And I think with the build I got here, the recoil is a little bit crazy. Or it's a little more difficult to control. But I really wanted the extra mobility with the no stock. Like, it's not insanely difficult to control. You just got to pull down a little bit, but I can definitely feel the recoil. The Stormcaller can definitely feel the shots from it, too. Why don't you go ahead and get out of here? See you later, buddy. I'll be taking that skull with me and uh, be on my merry way. Now, let's give this a shot against a bounty here in tier three. Please be an abomination, please. Let's go. All right, buddy. Same goes for you. You and the Stormcaller in the same boat. No matter what comes out, I'm hitting you with it. And that's a face gone immediately. And let's try to take out his mob of supporters here. Actually, you know what? You can't climb. I'm going up here. Yeah, try to get me. See what happens. Zombies go to the decoy. I don't need you climbing up here. I know you guys can climb. Stay away. Oh, he's sliding. He's figured out how to slide. He's wave dashing almost. He's too smooth with it. Oh, look at him float around. There's two faces gone. Zombies, please. Actually, if you're going to bring me ammo, go for it. All right, you going to shoot a laser or what? No? I think he's done. He said, I, this has been happening to me for six seasons of this game. You're just going to let it happen. All right, well, I mean, whatever works for you, Abomination. You're kind of making it last a bit longer not opening up, but that's fine. You're gone. See ya. That was actually kind of sad. He, like, gave up. He did not care. Maybe this next bounty will put up more of a fight. Let's see. Oh, it's another Abomination. Round two, buddy. Are you going to actually try? There we go. There's a laser. You're already tied for the same amount of lasers with the other Abomination. And it still took his face out pretty fast. He's trying to take mine out with it. And I did say the movement speed's a bit better on this, but it's still an LMG. We ain't uh, outrunning no hellhounds with this or super sprinters, but I guess we are outrunning this abomination trying to bite us. You mind shooting another laser, sir? Nope, he's going to recharge at us. Come on, dude. There you go. Let's see how this is doing. That's two faces down. Yeah, you can't charge through that, buddy. The laws of physics won't allow it. It's actually tearing right now. I'm really liking this. I wasn't too sure about it when we were getting it leveled up, but now that I can put on all my own attachments to it, it's feeling pretty good. Like, it's not a very exciting weapon to come out. It's no, uh, you know, compact bow or nothing, but it's still a very serviceable weapon, and it seems to be doing its job here in Tier 3. See you later, Abomination. You tried. Let's go ahead and do this Outlast contract and see if we can get a big horde of zombies going. See how this does when the pressure is on. Now, this isn't the biggest group, but I think this is as big as it's going to get for our Outlast contract. And we're tearing through them. With like no resistance, really. Just a little fire damage we would have taken there if we didn't have PhD. But kind of a weak amount of zombies. Maybe a spore contract or something will spawn in more. Oh, and it's trying to pawn off a sigil on us. We don't even need those. What a waste of a loot spot. Let's see if we can get more zombies with this. And this is looking like a pretty good horde of zombies. Let's see how this holds up. Hellhound, stay back. So far, so good. Just slightly backpedaling here and shooting, and they can't even get to me, actually. This actually might be a sleeper weapon. This ain't bad at all. Absolutely tearing through everything. Even this disciple, if he stays still. Thank you, appreciate it. Zombie behind me, stop. And they're all gone. I think I might have been wrong about this LMG. I was saying it was kind of mid when I was getting it leveled. But maybe I didn't see the vision. I wasn't giving it enough attention. Maybe just needed a little love. And I think we're just about ready to go to the Dark Aether. But just to prove it to you guys, you can see I don't have a single sigil here in my backpack. But we can already just go ahead and activate it. So we don't need to waste a spot in our inventory on a sigil anymore. Unless you're going to a normal one. Over here. 
Still need an Elder Sigil. Now let's see if we can make it through this entire Dark Aether with just this. And just in case we're feeling a bit frisky by the time we uh, finish the contracts here in the Aether, let's go ahead and open up the Spore and set up for our uh, Entity boss fight. And it's not going to be the Elder Sigil one which is probably one of the only reasons to use an elder, elder Sigil right now after this update. Unless, of course, you don't have all the schematics yet. But we can still fight the entity here in a normal Sigil. So let's uh, do our little maze, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, make it through here, hop up this. Don't even need to use the, the arrow finder, because I'm just nice like that. Also need to probably start getting my kills with Napalm Burst. I didn't get any of them in the overworld. It's probably for the better because I would have needed to get 250 kills here in the Dark Aether anyways. If I actually wanted to get out of here with gold, which is looking to be tough right now. Um, Through here, right? This way? I think I messed up that final part of the maze. Yep, okay. Let's try to get these zombies out of here. I'll fly away so they despawn, and then we'll come back to uh, a nice, safer area. Might as well uh, grab our Outlast contract while we're here. That way we can go right to it after we're done. Oh, they're still all in the same spot. You know, whatever. Mow them down. This is actually kind of sick. We just destroyed that entire horde of zombies in the Dark Aether. Y'all are supposed to be tough. What happened? All right, let's knock out this maze before it gets crazy again. And we did it right. And give me that skull. And I know Sledgehammer thought they were real funny for this one. Having us give the head. Give head to this whale, Moby Dick. Giving head to Dick. Nice one, Sledgehammer. Real mature. But now we got our thumb drive. Now we can start doing our contracts. Starting up the Outlast. Please don't knock me while I'm starting the contract. That's not fair. I call timeout. But actually, it don't matter. All y'all are going down. Nobody is safe. Including me. Fuck. Now spawn in that boss. There you go. You can have a cashmere as well. Let's try to take you out. Oh, we're actually doing decent damage to him. This boss is actually way more tanky than people think. So us being able to melt through him like this, that's pretty good. Just don't EMP me. All right, well, to be fair to him, I wasn't done saying it yet. He didn't know the rules. It's actually insane in here, but we're almost done. We almost got it. We're almost free. There we go. Uh, let's grab a another cashmere. Let's look at our reward. Damn, kind of weak. Weak sauce. All right, Spore Contract, you're up next. Come here. Give me those inhibitors, and let's get to work. And this should be our last Spore. Give me the loot. I will take that. And there's an Elder Sigil, but don't think we need it. Let's start doing the Escort contract. Definitely going to be tough, but I feel like this thing can shred through Mimics. That's like our biggest threat with this contract. Maybe don't even want to spawn any in. They're scared. The mimics are too pussy to come see me. They want to check in. It's actually so quiet and peaceful. There's nothing around. What happened? Everybody's too scared? Or are they all just going for, for my disciple? They want him dead. He's a traitor. Oh, there's a Mimic. And he literally turned around and walked away. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, and there we go. We got our failure to launch camo. Ironic with this game. So that's even a camo. Or I guess self-aware would be a better word for it. This has actually been a very chill, like, escort mission. There's either a lot of zombies on me at the stops or just none at all in between. It's very weird. I've never had this happen before. Oh, I guess while we're in the area, it is only at 46% health, but I think I can, I can go and do this real quick with no zombies around. Let's go down here. Don't die for fall damage. That would have sucked. Spawn in the boss. Go over here. Do a little Aether Shroud. Let's see if we can kill the key holder real quick. Oh. And we... Okay, we failed the contract. Maybe I, I mismanaged that a little bit. We failed the chillest escort contract we'll ever get. So that's fine. It's all right by me. We still have the entity to fight. And give me that key. Thank you. Now let's head up to the roof of the main building and see if we can grind out this camo. Here we go. Spawn in a million hellhounds. This is perfect. Easy kills for our challenge. Holy shit, that's so many. Our disciple just brought them all over. He's got his own disciple to deal with. I'll take care of him for you. You're being a real nice decoy for us. Oh, there we go. Pixel perfect. Perfect. That's a fucking double up. That was not intentional. There are so many zombies here now, and we're still lighting them up. Tell me this gun's bad. I dare you. We actually just took out a gigantic horde of zombies with... No problem. No issue at all. So it should work the same against the entity. Hopefully this doesn't count as a new area. It shouldn't, right? Since we're going through a rift. But the timer does restart, which is, uh, might be bad for us for trying to unlock gold here. All right, entity, let's do this. 
I know you got some good loot for me because we're coming out of here basically empty-handed. Let's see if we can break these orbs. Ooh, they're actually taking a little bit. Let's make sure we're throwing our decoys. Can't be taken out by any wandering zombies. Find one more orb for this phase. Oh, shit. We're out of decoys. We do have a Aether Shroud, though. Can we stop her? Why are you leaning away? Stop that. There we go. Already doing better than our last time fighting her. Now let's just keep that up. Oh, shit. Actually, that's fine. You don't get hit by the laser. All going according to plan. For the most part, I'm fine to waste a few self-revives here. We'll clear up some inventory space. If that's not all of them. Oh, she still has one more on her hip. There we go. Just got to do that like two more times and she's dead. Oh, shit. She's only got two orbs left. At least on this face, this part of it. Let's take out the head. Let's get the shoulder. And you're lucky you don't got any on your knees and toes, pal. And we still got plenty of self revives. I'm not even worried about not having decoys. I'm just focused on taking her out. Alright, one more orb on this. And actually, this might do it for her. Either that or she'll just have, like, very little health. Oh, yeah. All right. Just a little bit more. Don't worry. It'll all be over soon, Entity Zeko. You've been a trooper. You'll get through it. Just a little bit more. Come on. Don't you teleport. All right, good. She's shooting a laser. And that's all she wrote. Night, night. Oh, night, night for me too. Shared bedtime. Wait, why aren't you dead? Can you not die while I'm dying? Oh, you still had one more. Whatever. See you later, alligator. The ending, like, death scene here looks so sick. It looks so good. Bye-bye. Leave me anything good? You did. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Elder Sigil, you're going to stay right here. Don't want you. Let's get out of here and see if we got gold. And we don't get to see if we got gold. Playlist update. Awesome. Hold on. We have to check it the anticlimactic way. Go to gear. Go to our gun. Do I see gold? I do. Let's go. And we also got our pixel perfect camo, but I currently don't have the default version of this weapon unlocked. So let's check it out on another weapon. And just so you guys know, I'm not messing with you. It's here in glitch mill spec right over here. Pixel perfect. As you can see, it is a uh, animated camo. Almost said reactive. I'm pretty sure it's not. I think this is the first time we've seen this for just a base camo without it actually just moves. And if we bring it here in the firing range, it still moves on the gun. And it actually kind of has like that CRT effect that you've been seeing on a lot of the Black Cell skins for this battle pass. Looks pretty good. And it's also, it's multiplayer version, I'm pretty sure, also is animated. Actually, I'm 100% positive it is. And while we're here looking at camos, I can show you guys the Orion update. And it actually now glows in the dark. So all the nice little light spots on the weapon you can actually see a lot better in the dark they made it more vibrant they made the camo move a bit faster and all the stars in the secondary pattern actually light up so don't know why they're updating it with only four weeks left in the game but it looks pretty good all right let's go ahead and take this puppy for a spin as you can tell right here there is no real ads with it you kind of do like a slight ads but your movement speed is still pretty decent moving around with it like this thing is not bad movement at all for aiming down sight and shooting with an lmg and it's still just as accurate. My bullets are going exactly where I want them to go. I can't believe I completely missed this. Even after you guys are telling me about it in stream. I just must have forgot. My, my Joe Mensha kicked in. But we already completely dismantled that disciple. But this is a complete game changer. And I'm pretty sure it can be added to almost like any weapon. So whatever weapon you got an underbarrel on, throw this on there. It's such crazy timing that we're getting this attachment. Because I'm sure this was planned for a bit. But in the last few days of the BO6 multiplayer beta... The people discovered the attachment like this for another LMG and it absolutely dominated the last day of the beta. Every single person was using this and it was just going in. And for good reason. You get an LMG with good movement speed, it's just busted. I'm glad it's the last season of this game so we don't have to deal with this for a whole year. Especially in something like multiplayer, but this is nice. I'm liking this attachment a lot. Let's see if I can actually outrun any zombies here. I don't think it would give us that kind of speed, but... It definitely feels way faster than what we were using before. And we are kind of dusting these zombies over here. I don't think there are any super sprinters, but we do have a hellhound behind us. Can we get away from him? Nope. He's still going to bite us. I'm going to blame that on the lack of tax sprint. Can we get past him over here? Can we beat him to the outlast? Don't think so. All right. 
So can't outrun hellhounds, but other zombies? Absolutely getting dusted. This is so sick. I feel like it's even harder to get cornered now. Because this is such good movement for constantly firing a thousand bullets out of this gun. This is just ridiculous, dude. Ain't nobody touching me. Unless you're a mangler with a gun. But either way, you're sitting down. Now let's see how much different it is fighting a tier 3 HVT now that we have all this movement speed. Oh, and it's an abomination. All right, buddy. Sorry to do this to you again, but we got to see what we can do with the speed now. Because the damage is going to stay the same. Broke the face in the same amount of time. Hellhounds are still being a dick, though. We're keeping a healthy distance, too, so he doesn't start lunging. This is so sick. I'm way too fast for you, buddy. I'm like Lightning McQueen. I am speed. Ain't no way you're touching this. Uh-oh. Unless he does one of those. Actually, try to bite at me. There we go. Can we outrun him now? Oh, yeah. He ain't touching me. I'm too quick for you. There's no way you're catching me, dude. Just give up. Stop trying. You can't keep up. Unless you do a supercharged run. But that's what we're looking for. A nice little laser. Um, He actually might knock us here. It's not as accurate as it would be at range, but we're still landing a, a pretty decent amount of shots there. I think every single bullet right there was actually hitting his crit point. But I'm sure the further and further we get away, the less accurate it's going to be. But with this, you can be up close and personal and move around enough to not really get messed up as long as you're paying attention to your surroundings. Like, we are absolutely destroying him, and he's already dead. What a sweet attachment. This is like the Tyreek Hill of LMGs now. Everything about it is speed. The fire rate's really fast. The movement speed's really fast. And this attachment just makes it so much better. This actually might be one of my new favorite weapons. I'm not going to lie. This is a blast to use. It's got so much ammo. Does really good damage. Like, what's not to like about this weapon? And you already know we had to run it back against the Stormcaller. I don't know what he's doing so far outside of the storm. But he's about to be in a world of hurt. A storm of speed, actually. He, I don't know why you went and ran off. Actually, are you healing out here? No, go back in the storm. There you go. Damn, the, the speed must have scared him so bad he had to leave his home. He didn't know what to do. You can't live outside of there. It's like breaking Amish. How are you going to live without churning butter or something? I, I'm very ignorant about Amish people. But now he can mess you up from all angles. So you can try to fly around. You can try to escape. Ain't going to work out well for you, I'll tell you that. And you can't even find us now that we Aether Shrouded. Do we break your mask already? We did. Look at that. Let's just go ahead and melt down your health at the same speed we can run. It's just getting peppered. Don't even try to heal from behind. Who do you think you are? You're trying to hit trick shot heals on me? That's not happening. We will not allow that. You need to sit down. Stop trying to heal. How many times I got to tell you this, old man? Zombies, you guys can also stay back. Don't need it. Not necessary. Aether Shroud immediately again. And you're gone, Stormcaller. Sorry to say it. But attachment or not, you're fucked. Unless you start using the power of Zeus on me. That's, that's not fair. See you later, pal. Why don't you take that lesson into your next life? I'm bringing your skull with me. So overall review on the cast off LSW LMG. I think this might be one of the better, if not the best LMG in the game. It's fast fire rate combined with its fast movement speed actually makes it very, very viable in every tier of this game. You can take out whatever boss you want with it. And it even melts through zombies in the dark aether. Like I don't know what else more you would want from an LMG. And I don't even think you need Mago holding for it. It definitely helps, but even the reload speeds a lot faster than other LMGs. Like this thing just is built with speed in mind and it really show. So if you haven't used it yet, I would definitely recommend giving the cast off LSW a try. It's a really nice gun and it, it does very well wherever you want to use it. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.